Hello everyone. Today's video deals with us explaining the concept of genetic recombination. Now, genetic recombination is the rearrangement of genetic material, especially by crossing over in chromosomes or by artificial joining of segments of DNA from different organisms. Now, as is obvious, most of this happens naturally. And this is followed by the production of offspring with a combination of traits that differ from those found in either pair. Okay, so in eukaryotic organisms, there are two methods of cell division, meiosis and mitosis. In both these processes, genetic recombination occurs. In meiosis, it involves the pairing of homologous chromosomes, followed by information transfer between the chromosomes. The information transfer may occur without actual physical transfer. Now this is the SDSA mechanism shown there. In this one, DNA from one strand is copied and inserted into the other one without actually changing the DNA of the first strand, as in the donating strand doesn't get changed at all. The other mechanism is the DHDNA mechanism. This one. In this one, actual exchange of DNA happens and Hence the product, that, hence the DNA that we actually get at the end are two strands which are radically different from the parents which were there before. So the uh, strands which are formed happen after crossing over and that is referred to as the the diagram. And in this one, it happens without any crossing over, the copy paste mechanism as said before. And so, NCO, not crossing over. In mitosis, the genetic recombination that occurs is between sister chromosomes formed after chromosomal replication. Now, as two sister chromosomes are generally same, no allelic changes happen. Pro uh, recombination also occurs in bacteria and archaea. And in general, recombination is generally used for DNA repair or in sexual reproduction, which is the case in meiosis. I would believe that you know this. Now, in our project, we use recombination for incorporating the MCP1 gene, which is a chemokine formed, uh, found in mammals. Now, MCP1 is used, is named for the human version, but in our project, we use the mouse model. So, from henceforth, I refer to the mouse model of JE as MCP1. Now, we would, uh, so our project part pair involves us to make the phage, make the infected bacteria, make MCP1. Now, if you're confused by this, this is what it means. So once the phage get, uh, interacts with the bacteria, it makes the bacteria produce MCP1, which is a chemokine, which calls macrophages to that place, hence doing a part of a project. So how do we do this recombination? We attach MCP1 plus the signal peptide for transfer outside the cell. So with two parts of the E gene around it. As in, uh, let us say this is the T4 genome. Uh, okay. yes, and, um, this is the promoter and this is the terminator. There lies the E gene. Now we want this, uh, for the recombination, uh, we exchange this part by this. Then these two are parts from the EG only. Now, if you do this, the exchange happens properly because essentially they're capitalizing on an error in the sense that instead of combining with the gene which it was actually supposed to, it combines with uh, MCP1 plus the signal. Now, recombination is a very important tool as is obvious, it helps us do genetic modifications uh, where. Otherwise, it would not have been possible for us to do. Hope you understood what we meant by genetic recombination and our usage in the project. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.